Hi, my name is Nicole Davison, I'm the British Consul General here in Vancouver. We're making this video today to debunk some myths around being LGBTQ. Um, I do hope it is the day to do it because for, the, for us this means a day where we talk about equality and diversity and acceptance of both. Hey, my name is Morgan Auger, I'm the founder of the Morgan Auger Foundation in Vancouver and I'm here to share some debunking on uh, LGBTQ2 plus myths. Uh, and to celebrate being out and there being a little bit less of a myth every year because you know what, life is good. Mm -hmm. uh, children are not old enough to know their gender identity. Huh, really? <laughs> Apparently so. That's interesting. My son knew he was a boy, I think, at two. I, I yeah, mm. it's kind of news to me. I, I knew my own gender identity pretty young too and it wasn't of a boy. Yeah. Hey, where does that come from? My, my understanding is actually that research shows that by six years old, gender identity is fixed, mm -hmm. and it, or well, it's known, and that some people just take longer to grasp it, mm -hmm. but that basically people know their age. Sexual orientation is a choice. <laughs> um, do you know what? There are times in my life when I wish it was a choice because I wouldn't have chosen it, um, but it most definitely isn't a choice. Just like you knew your gender identity very young, I knew my sexual orientation very young, and um, I definitely did not choose it, although I've now learned to embrace it. Mm. Transitioning is as simple as one surgery. Ha! <laughs> hmm. Yeah. One surgery. I started, I started transitioning, you could say, in 1995, mm -hmm. when I started trying to find the backbone to do it and to convince someone I could do it, mm -hmm. and I finally completed the process of being publicly out or even being, you know, transitioned in public in 2014. Yeah, but 19 and years. The, you know, and mm -hmm. there was a transsexual surgery in there, mm -hmm. but that's actually not a prerequisite for being transgender. Mm -hmm. Transsexual surgeries or, or transition, you know. Yeah, no, yeah. That's, they're unrelated. Gay or lesbian individuals are sexually attracted to their heterosexual friends. <laughs> um, <laughs> this is also one of my favorite assumptions. Guys, absolutely not, no way. I mean, for one thing, it makes us sound completely indiscriminating, which we're not, you know, we're, we are as discriminating as everybody else is looking for a relationship or a partner. And the other thing, it's a pretty arrogant assumption, actually, <laughs> to, for all my friends to, or, or, you know, for people just to think that. It's, it's just, no, absolutely not. Debunking that right here and now. In same-sex relationships, one partner plays the masculine role <laughs> and the other plays the feminine role. Hmm. <sighs> yeah, I mean, so, so a bit like the same sex being attracted to friends and what have you, that, that, that is a, a complete myth that we're asked to time and again. You know, my partner and I always ask, well, who's the man, who's the woman? It doesn't come down to that at all. It comes down to who you are as an individual. Um, we are who we are. Uh, and it's ridiculous to assume that you enter into a relationship trying to actually recreate a heterosexual relationship because that's not necessarily what we're about and it's just uh, a complete fallacy that that's a direction you knowingly go in. I don't know what this means. All gay men are so extra? I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> is, that, is that a special straight <laughs> cis term think, for super gay? Means. Over means. the top? Yeah, over the top? Is it extra like a modern word? Extra. Is it, oh, is it like extra over the top? Oh, okay. Okay, because um, it sounds like extra the gay magazine. Oh, okay. So I think it means over the top, okay. flamboyant. Right. Thank you. Thank you for that. Um, so uh, no, no, that's just uh, no. I mean, you can have within every person, be they straight or LGBTQ, you get all kinds of mannerisms and all kinds of behaviours, and that's exactly the same with gay men. So that is just a stereotype. There's a whole group of gay men called straight acting, mm -hmm. straight passing gay men mm -hmm. who do everything they can to not be noticed as flamboyant because it makes them like twitch. Exactly. You know, 
in where I live in British Columbia, that was sorted out in the 90s. Mm -hmm. And my understanding is that we have like a lower rate of sexualized violence in bathrooms mm -hmm. than anyone else, or uh, no worse. This is a ludicrous argument. It's not who you are that defines the risk, it's what you do. Ultimately, yeah. as a matter of fact, that's the basis of law, mm -hmm. that you shouldn't harm people, you shouldn't hurt people based on who they are. Discrimination based on who people are is basically what we have human rights law against. Mm -hmm. No, absolutely. And, and the thing is, I mean, somebody made a very good point the other day that actually every bathroom in everyone's house is transgender. And so why can't they be translated to public spaces? <laughs>